evening everybody welcome to masterworks my name is Jason Meyer and our cameras decided not to work right before showtime so all we get today is screenshots but luckily the show I put together is screenshots so uh, sorry not to see your faces and sorry to have to quote unquote hide mine today but the cameras just were not up and running by showtime so we'll work all those little things out but in the meantime I thought what we would do today since in class we're working with a warm palette I would like to go through a large assortment of paintings done with a warm palette now I was hoping to point out on the color wheel where these things are happening um, but that was going to need the cameras for that. So, so there we go. All right, Claudia is down. Claudia is down. I'm down. So let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> so when you look at these, first off, before you start investigating the color, I want you just to kind of receive and be open to the feeling you get. Right, because warm paintings definitely feel different than say cool paintings, right? And so it's important for you to be able to discern those differences when choosing for your own paintings. So what makes this warm? Well, I feel predominantly a lot of yellows in here. Uh, green, yellow, yellow orange and even though there's apparently a little bit of cool that cool is showing up because all the yellows and the warms and the reds and the oranges and then we have the white as little specks can you guys see everybody see that that's pretty much a warm painting All right, no question about this one, right? No question at all about this one. We've got the red, right, and then the black, the warm black, into the yellows, the yellows. Warm painting, so even when we're doing these warm paintings, whoa. There's a lot of room for variation. So one thing I was hoping for you guys to get tonight is that warm paintings don't all look the same way necessarily. But even within a warm paintings, right? neutral yellow, neutral oranges, warms warm neutrals warms 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 and then there's a bit of cool in here but that's pretty gray isn't it <laughs> that's the idea that's the idea a good fire all right the warmth of the fire Wow, how about that for a warm night? I believe this was Los Angeles, a Jeremy Mann painting. Sunsets. There I am. We've got the yellows, yellows, oranges, reds. Right. And can you feel like this is really warm gray? There's a little bit of cool underneath there, but I guarantee you that's a lot grayer than you think it is. That may be just gray with no actual cool in there. 
Hard to tell until you try it yourself. Warm, 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 warm. And then a bit of the receding color. A bit of the receding to make the warm advance. Yellow, orange, or a deeper yellow, red, or, you know, depends on where where you're calling what. Some people are going to call that orange. It's orange down here, and then it travels up to red in there, doesn't it? What about there? What does it travel from there to there? Why are you guys picking up all those reds? And yeah, there's a little bit of cool, but again, I'm going to say that's a lot closer to gray than you might think. I believe this is another Jeremy Mann cityscape. A few whites or neutrals, some slight cool grays, and then other than that, other than that, warm, 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 warm. Yellows, oranges, reds, and then even warm greens. You know, a touch of some coolness in there, here and there. But predominantly warm. One of the things that gives LaFell, this is a David LaFell painting, one of the things that gives LaFell the ancient depth that he has is those warms. The way that he handles his warms versus his cools. Right? He's got a grip on those dark warms, those warm grays. Boy, does he have a grip on those. Um, well, this is a portion of a Burtstadt painting. I was going, I think there's something missing. But uh, generally speaking, this is warm. On the whole thing, you can get a lot more warm in there. But can you guys sense how all of this is warm? And then we're going cooler back there. But this is a warm gray. See that? See feel that warm gray? Warm gray. Some of it's grayer. Some of it's got more chroma. Some of it's redder, oranger. Some of it's more yellow. But all really a sense of warmth. Even the blue has a feeling of warmth to it, doesn't it? Feel that? A Jacob Collins. Right, mostly all warm, but those highlights are so cool. And then look at his lights. Right? Cool. Is that cool? That come from adding, right, even those warm greens. And this is reading as a cool purple to me. So there's a good chance that that's just a good amount of white added in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jacob Collins will make you go, wow. <laughs> Jacob Collins will make you go wow for sure. But you see all the variety we have? So this is absolutely more mostly warm and then some neutral cools.
right? Not nearly as warm, but the same idea here, right? This background is a lot cooler, but it's still a neutral yellow, warm greens, right? This is the, the white added to the pigment, more neutral than really cool. But our white inside all of the warm will really read cool. Now it looks like there's some little bits of cool in here. You guys see that? Will that let us blow that up? But I mean, come on. How much cool to how much warm? <laughs> All right, so I'm not saying there's none in here, but by far these are predominantly warm. Yeah, the facial expressions they get are amazing. Again, everybody feeling warm in here? All right, you you might start to think this feels a little bit cool perhaps, but if you're thinking that it's just because it's surrounded by all this warm. Even the quote unquote cool purple is pretty warm. Right, is that the coolest spot in the place right there? A little bit of cool gray? Yeah. These spots up here, I don't know. I'm gonna say those are probably gray. But they certainly read blue, don't they? Certainly read blue. But again, gray inside all the warmth really will read cool or even blue. Very blue. Again, we're much more into the neutrals here. Right, but we're sticking just on that warm side, aren't we? Just on the wa warm side. I believe this is a Sean Cheatham, if I remember right. I know we're going through lots of good art here. Lots of good art. You know, from a contemporary painters to, uh, if I remember right, this is a Fragonard, right? Warm, 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 warm. A little bit of coolness there. The white of that eye. Look, that's just gray. It's a little bit of gray. yellowish, pinkish, reddish, orangish, grayish. Okay, so in class we've been talking about expanding the palette, meaning working in tighter, tighter areas but expanding our capabilities within those areas. This is a lot of what you're seeing here. And it's interesting, this cool wall behind here really lets the warms in the paintings shows them off. Again, very little bits of blue, gray, cool, but overall warm, warm, warm. And when I say warm, I'm talking on the color wheel, right? If you look, his light is cooler than his shadows, but this is gonna be in the orange family, a neutral orange family with enough white to cool it off. Whereas this is in the orange family leading towards the red family. So both on the warm side of the wheel but cool light and warm dark. So you could say a cool warm and a warm warm is one way to think about it. Okay, so sometimes people, we get that confused. There's so many warms and darks. Here's another, if I remember right, Jacob Collins. 
right? Is there any, I think this is just warm and neutral. Just warm and neutral here. Is this what you guys see? Warm and neutral? Right, we've got some gray, some warm gray. Gray, gray, gray. <laughs> Sorry to be late. You're right on time. You're right on time. So we're looking at warm paintings tonight. All the variety that we can get in warm, and by warm we're meaning more on the warm side of the color wheel. Right, and the large variety. Uh, is this Peter Paul Rubens? I got this mixed up. Is there something scratched in here? I don't know. I think this is a Rubens. All right, but although this is reading very blue, it's reading more blue than it is because it's surrounded by the warmth. It's a lot closer to gray than it quote unquote appears. Those dark warm neutrals peaks out to red. Even the black has a little bit of warmth, sense of warmth to it. And then only those lighter grays, right? And then our reds and oranges and yellows with white added will be our cool warms. Right, so just because it's warm doesn't mean it's dark in old masters. Right, because there's all degrees of warm. There's light value warm. Right, these greens, yellow warms. There's a few here that are almost on the cooler side. But look, even the purples have a warmth to them. Again, we're just exploring the wide variety of what we can do with warm palettes. In S, warm green, yellow, orange. So we're working <clears throat> more red, orange, yellow. He shifted it over a little bit. Orange, yellow, green, or warm green. Can you guys see this is green? It may not look like it, but it is. That's a green. Green, green, green in context. Again. So complex, complex, complex. Right, complex in a way, but again, all of this power that you see in all these came from simplifying that palette. Simplifying it down. I think, uh, I don't, this may be a painter named Matthew Almy. Um, I haven't seen a lot by him, but I've seen a few things that just blow my mind. Blow my mind. So, um, I don't know how active he is or what, you know, I, we've all kind of been gone for a while, but before, I would just pick up here and here and there of him, not that I'm down into anything, but there's so many of these men and women out there that are just quiet, that you don't really hear from that can paint, that can paint, oof, so many. Now, this one has a little bit more, but how much cool really? We have this, this is even kind of a warm green. These grays are warm. Right, so definitely predominantly on the warm side. 
And how does white read inside the warmth? Is there a build? Dark warms up through the reds and oranges, yellows to white. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Warm greens. Oranges. So the color on the wheel's pretty tight, but look at the value range. And then even though we're in quote unquote all warm, we still have warm and cools, don't we? Is this cool versus that warm shadow? And the answer is yeah. But this is still on the warm side of the wheel. Just cool in relation to the shadow. Ah, a sergeant, huh? A sergeant. So again, we've got some grays in here, but warm, 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 neutral. Even looks like there may be a little yellow on that. You know, don't don't know for sure if this is a photograph or what. Hard to tell, but from this photograph, warm, warm, warm. How does warm feel? <clears throat> a winter, winter sunset? We've seen a pattern in these dark warms coming up through the reds and oranges, through the yellows, cooling off to our cooler part. Hmm. I don't know. Seems like a little pattern I'm picking up on. Seems like a little bit of a pattern. Here too, much more neutral, not so colorful. But warm, warm, warm. How does that white look inside of these warms? How neutral those are. And they're cooler than the shadows. Here, even back here, are those shadows are warmer. So like these shadows look to have a more tinge, a deeper orange feel. And these tend to be a lighter bending towards more of a yellow orange. So this is that warm, cool relationship we're looking for. <laughs> Claudia, you're on fire tonight. You're saying all the right stuff. You're saying all the right stuff. Not colorful, but full of color. Yeah, because it's all going in one direction. Some beautiful negative shapes. And how much of this is just suggested in here? Right? It's amazing if you spell a few things out. What you can get away with. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, a little different mood, but is it still warm? Heck to the yeah, it is. I said, heck yeah, it is. All right, our 
And then this is again going to be much more neutral, much more gray than you think. Even if it is leaning on that blue side a little bit, it's much closer to the gray. Right? This feels pretty cool to me, but almost feels like a warm purple, doesn't it? Rather than a cold, cold purple. How do we make these things glow? Is there lighter, then a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit, huh? So much, so much, only five minutes left. How many more can we get through? Right, mostly warm. Is that the only real cool in there? I'm gonna say that's the strongest cool for sure. You, oh, I can't blow that up anymore. You guys see that? That little touch of blue green there. The warm green, the gray, the black, the white. We're into the neutral yellow, oranges, reds up in here. Boom. Uh oh. Remember that green? You see a touch of that? Boom. So it just never comes from anywhere. And then if you notice on his receding planes, that gray also tends in that direction. Hmm. Man, these guys are good. Man, these guys are good. Mostly warm and gray. Warm and gray. I'm probably a weirdo, but man, I want to hang out in that place. That looks like the coolest place in the world to hang out. Look at all the character on these trees. Hopefully that guy's not too creepy. If he's creepy, I don't know. The landscape though, that sun, look at that sun. Oh, 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 oh. Is it my imagination or does it look like the moon's there too? Or is that, hopefully that's not somebody's camera. I'll have to investigate that a little bit. Warm, warm, warm. Again, mostly warm, and then a touch of a cool green. But all warm, black, a warmer green, a yellow, a red, a white, a neutral, warm green grays, white neutral, white neutral, yellow, red, warm green. Can you guys see that? Mostly warm. Two minutes, two minutes. So yeah, for anybody who came in late, my cameras died right before I came on. So that's why there is gonna be no FaceTime with you tonight. Sorry about that. But luckily the show was planned and the, still picked up my screen. So we'll see if we can't get the uh, cameras working by tomorrow morning, I'm sure we will. So as we finish up tonight, because we're coming to the end of our 30 minutes, um, I want to remind everybody that tomorrow morning, our morning jumpstart will be a mix-along. So it'll be right here on YouTube, 8 a.m. And we'll be mixing with our warm palette. Rembrandt. Oof. Oof. Tell, ah. Oh. 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 M man. Man, man, man. All right, a little wash out there, a Kwong Ho, a little brighter chroma. Again, that's a warm palette. So much we can do with a warm palette from bright to super quiet. All right, let's see. Oh, we're gonna have to skip ahead, skip ahead. So here we go. We'll finish with a Mr. Rembrandt. And uh, again, sorry for my camera. Oops, there we go. Thing. But no, I'm smiling and waving at you. 
And um, thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Shakti. Thank you, Cindy, for taking care of all that. Right back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. All right, everybody. <laughs> Until then, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you soaked in some of what we can do with the warm palettes we're working with. All right. Love you guys a ton. See you in the morning. Bye-bye.